Pivot to square like this and use the common scale to mark your ridge cut line. I'm going with a four pitch here for this rafter. With that marked out, make your cut. From there, measure down your desired rafter length and draw a line using the same four inch pitch on the common scale. Lastly, mark out for the seat cut, which is where the rafter sits on the top plate and is toe nailed into the exterior wall. Using first a circular saw and then a hand saw, the bird's mouth is now complete. Your desired overhang amounts change with each project, but as you can see, it's easy to do all this with a simple rafter square.